Hey guys, Rusi here. Um, right, before we get into anything, I just want to talk about my track of the week because I keep forgetting to mention in that. Um, so my track of the week is SG Lewis and Time. It's a very uplifting party summer song, especially for this time of the year. It's lovely in that. So yeah, that's my track of the week. Uh, hopefully you'll like it. Anyway. Never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. No. Yeah. Okay. Auto save is just so annoying. It just keeps interrupting you. Um, so we haven't really done that many missions. So let's just start off with a mission first before we get into the uh, next steps. So there's an icon here next to in Arthur's camp, which is basically Mary's letter, but we're gonna gonna leave that for now. We are going to do the spines of America with I think it's with Hosea. So it's right over here. Actually. We can just fast travel to Emerald Ranch. Hope you all having a lovely day, by the way. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Uh, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. I can Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> yes, by marriage. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a fun, sneaky mission, this. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Where are you going, Arthur? Oh my god, how did he do that? Okay. I don't really want to complete this subject just yet. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yeah, I guess I'll settle that over there. Oh! How you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. 
Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they say the same about you. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Well, you won't get into crouch mode. <laughs> There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it at night time. Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Find a coin. So we'll try and search for everything that we can find. Very, very easily to miss out just one little thing. So just pick up everything, even if it's just like this bit of alcohol. Up there. Put else on the table. Cigarette card, yeah. The beauty. I wouldn't worry about these people too much. They don't really seem to wake up. They're pretty much in a deep sleep. Oh, 
Unless it's probably best that you just use the eagle vision. Now, there's some money's going to be underneath there, but we'll just uh, let's just go for these bits first. Take some snacks with us along the way. Now some of these valuable items can be used to um, create these uh, trinkets or or the talisman. There is one item we'll be getting from somewhere that's um, in a quiet place, I'd say. No, not him. I'll start look at the chest. Here. Just gonna get that money that's in the uh, underneath their chimney. I think one of the um, mission objectives is to make sure you actually search everything and take everything. But it can be so missable. So I, I mean, I, I don't even know who collected everything, but. Nice bit of uh, change there. Get on, dear boy. Come on, get on, and let's head back. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. Okay. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. No, I'm going to take my time, actually. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly art. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we've managed to get everything. Yeah, see, there's even more stuff in there. I don't think there's anything outside. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just camp out somewhere. Yeah. Here. Oh yeah, apart from money, now if you if you want to steal a wagon or a coach, then you can just 
can sell it to uh, Seamus. I think it gives you like fifty dollars for each one yeah. or whatever. So basically, we are combining step 11, 12, and thirteen. Um, we're going to discover fifty different animals. Although I think we've already done. Let's have a look. How many have we done? In the compendium, so twenty six. So we've done pretty much half, just over half of already. So um, we're going to do the legendary animals. Going to collect their their pelts and. And then we can convert them, go to the fence, sell them, and then we'll be able to get the trinkets from them, which is also going to go towards the equipment because you need to have you need to discover at least ten equipment items. Um, I think naturally throughout the story you're going to come across different items. Um, I mean, we don't even have the fishing rod yet, which that comes naturally in the story. So yeah, so we're going to go f for the first legendary animal, which I think. Is I think it's the legendary buck, which is out here. There's only um, certain animals can't go for yet because of where we are in the story. Like the legendary ball gator can't do that until chapter five, and there are some other legendary animals that are in different areas which we can't go to yet. Aha! Here we go. Don't lead us in the bloody gang gang, please. <laughs> Hopefully they won't see us. Must be near. Is that it? There it is. So now that's added to a compendium. So as you can see, it doesn't say studied. Um, you don't have to study them, but yeah, well, might as well get some information about it. It doesn't matter how many times you shoot them; it doesn't like damage their pelt or anything. So don't worry about that. Now normally I would just go and just collect them all together, but you gotta be careful because you might could you could lose it over a day or so. Right, so oh yeah, this is the uh, the legendary white bison. Okay, there we go. Just magically appeared.
And it just appears Getting magically. So there's a, uh, there's a house up here somewhere. I think it might be this one. <laughs> nope, let's change. Is that one? Yeah, I think it is this one. So there's like a um, really secretive item, item here in, in this like abandoned house. I'm pretty sure it's this one. If there's something blue on here, yeah. So that blown shell fragment, that um, in order to get the talisman, the, the legendary bison talisman, we need this and silver earring. We could just go to a trapper and sell this pelt. You could get it to Pearson as well. Um, trapper's up here. Equipment saddles all made right here. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. So, buying or selling? Boy, the things I can make with this. Please. I want to walk in, but anyway, we've uh, added some more to the items. Bad. All right, let's go for the next one. Uh, so we can take that marking off now. Uh, is this the ram? Stop running away. Just managed to study it. Idiot. Hello. Here we go. Hey, you there? Hold up. I mean it. Stop right now. Okay, settle down there. <laughs> Let's see what we got. This could take a while. Okay. Where? Girl. Nope. 
there it is. Stop or stop. Can't bloody see it now. Just want to get a look at it first. One tough round. Oh, pick up. <laughs> Stow it off, come on. Put it underneath. Next one. Now this is the legendary wolf. Easy. God, it looks so deep. <laughs> so now I thought it was on top of those rocks. Can't be that far away then. Getting close. There he is. There we go. Christ's sake. That mm, as well. Nice. Yeah, this uh, Ravenclaw talisman, the old brass compass is where um, it's where we got from uh, Geology for Beginners, and we went to his house after we got the letter back from us posting all of the rock carvings and his um his basically his wife said that he said he had passed away the and then um yeah we picked up the uh, brass compass from his house so now we've got at least 10 items now so now we don't have to worry about any more items even though we're going to pick up some in the story like the fishing rod etc uh, let's go to back to the traveler and just sell the other. Good to see you again. Mate, who are you shouting at? There's no one here. Seriously. This isn't a, like an open market. Well, I guess it kind of is, but whatever. All right. 
right, let's have a look. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. Okay. So this one. Maybe it's the legendary elk. Might be the elk. Nope. Okay. Yeah, elk. Legendary elk. This could take a while. You all right, girl? Yeah. Clean this repeater afterwards. Oh, these animals take so many shots. I know they're legendary animals, but jeez. Once in a lifetime, eh? Yeah, so, we, you know, we can do the other legendary animals another time. Let's just go for some random animals. So we've done legendary animals, we've done equipment, and now we're just going to discover some more animals. Just right next to us. Nice. So there might be some bats just back here. Hey, a mangy rat. Oh, so a bat, we managed to get a rat. Say there should be some just some bats here, really. They normally just fall down like to their death or something. Just about see it. Little brown bat. Study this bird. Oh. Snowy aigret. That's a baby one. We've got here a little egg rip. There we go. Okay, so see you go. Where I live, we have many seagulls. <laughs> Must be 40, 39. Hello, you got a problem with me? Hey, mister. Look out. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, this is 
Oh god. Sorry. Are you making trouble? Uh Are you yeah. That's what you got in the door. Oh my god. Oh dear. They're all going terribly wrong. Waxwing, probably one of the most um, common birds you'll find in this game. See, there are waxwings pretty much everywhere, the parakeets, but God, it's so rare to see them. Golden Crown Sparrow. Wax wings. Nope. Wing neck pheasant. It's a Ferrari chicken. There we go, Western Ravens. There's two more night, I think. Yeah, great horned owl. And there we go, the ox. Angus ox. There we go. 50 animals discovered towards the 100%, towards the compendium. Okay guys, so that was steps 11, 12 and 13. But yeah, so on Thursday I'll be live again and then I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Tell you what, this place needs a woman's touch. Take it from me. Yeah? Get yourself a woman then. <laughs>